Hi everyone, I'm here to give you some editing tips for use in the new ecosystem. The new course ecosystem updates our look, is meant to be responsive, so it's great for cell phones and tablets, and enhances accessibility. The ecosystem relies on clean code and the use of pre-formatted templates where possible. So for instance, you no longer need to add sizes to things like tables and images. That said, you'll need to be familiar with what we'll cover in this video, which is the Drupal toolbar, mainly. Before we jump into specifics, let's first take a look at the page we're on here. This is the course homepage for Geography 588. Notice the black editing bar at the top of the page, right up here. You can see this bar when you're logged into a course, and it's designed to give the page a clean look. It doesn't obscure other text, and it includes the tabs for view, edit, outline, and revisions. This is also a good time to mention that the view and edit modes are a little different from one another. In the view mode, you see the page as a course user does. In the edit mode, some of the stylings disappear. So watch this gray box. As we move into the edit mode, you'll see that the styling for the box disappears. All right, now that we're in the edit mode, let's touch on some specifics. Let's take a look at the Drupal toolbar at the top of the page right here. Which buttons can be used and which should you use with caution or stay away from? Most of the items on the toolbar can be used as always, but please be aware of the following. Please reserve use of the underline button, this one, for styling URLs that are links. Justification buttons can be used, but if you find that you're in need of a lot of that kind of styling, please contact your designer or Stevie so that the style can be added to the style sheet. That way justification will happen behind the scenes and won't require special attention on every page. <coughs> the indent button, or buttons, should be used only when you're making a multi-level list. And then the text, color, and background color buttons should be avoided. If you have a need for color and requ require some assistance, please don't hesitate to ask. All right, please avoid the font and size drop-down menus over here, way over here to the right, and the styles drop-down menu way over here to the left, because many of the items available on these drop-downs have been deprecated or replaced with newer HTML constructs, so please avoid their use. If you require assistance with styles for coding, we can help you, just let us know. You shouldn't need to use the table button, this one, because we have some table templates set up for you. Lots of them. We talk about that in the templates video, so be sure and watch that one. I want to make sure to mention that the paste as plain text button right here is very important. When you want to paste text from elsewhere, say from a Word document, into a Drupal page, please use this paste as plain text button. Think of this button as a conversion button. It helps convert your text without adding long strings of unnecessary HTML code. Adding text without using this button sometimes causes your designer or design assistant to have to spend time cleaning up HTML to remove unnecessary code, sometimes lots and lots of unnecessary code. Please ask your designer about this if you need assistance. Okay, one last thing, and that's about headings, and I'm going to switch over to a different page in a different course here. The title of any page, like this, Module 2 Reading Assignment, will show up as a Heading 1. Heading 1s are reserved for page titles. And remember that Heading 2s are reserved for menu items for accessibility reasons. That means any headings you add to this page will be Heading 3s or smaller. For instance, Reading Assignment here is a Heading 3, and Points to Consider While Reading is a subheading of reading assignments, so it's a heading 4. If you need to add another subheading, you'd add a heading 5, and we can take a look at that. All you do is put your cursor where you want to add the new heading, and choose from this drop-down menu the size heading you want, and then type. So notice that these don't look too different, this heading 5 four and three, but the sizing makes a big difference for accessibility reasons. So you really want to follow these ideas. I want to add too that none of these headings is bolded. They have their own style by design and so they don't need extra enhancement. 
All right, so that's pretty much it. If you need a style that we haven't thought of, or if you have questions about anything involved with our new ecosystem, please contact your learning designer or Stevie Rocco. Thank you.